So I wanted to respond to something Everett's vlog said in uh, a comment under my video called Feelings, where he he kind of he thought it was bizarre that I would attribute sentience to a bacterium. Um, and uh, first of all, sentience let's define as the ability to feel, um, which entails that you can respond to an environment. Um, in order to further your own uh, survival. So, I would say that a bacterium can feel. Uh, the evidence that I, I, I would offer for this is that when you, when you observe a bacterium in a sucrose uh, gradient, it will swim towards a greater concentration of sucrose. Um, and it seems that Everett's vlog would argue that this is could easily be explained by just saying that the bacterium is a complex biochemical mechanism. And, you know, I don't necessarily have a problem with that terminology, but I think we need to understand that um, if it's only molecules in this, this petri dish of, of sucrose and, and water, um, it, it makes no sense to talk about um, the sucrose as a nutrient um, and unless we attribute some form of uh, sentience or, or purpose to the activity of the bacterium um, moving towards greater concentrations of that sucrose, there's really no way to understand what's going on. Uh, molecules, uh, you know, molecular machines don't display intention in this way. Um, you know, the second law of thermodynamics has it that, you know, if you squirt some sucrose into a petri dish of water, the sucrose will eventually disperse evenly throughout the petri dish. Um, no molecule in particular will display any intentional activity, it will just follow the second law of thermodynamics, but when there is a bacterium present, it, it breaks this law, at least locally, by moving towards greater concentrations of sucrose, and it does so for a purpose, because sucrose is a nutrient and it would like to survive. So without attributing purpose to the, to the behavior of life forms, whether it's single cellular bacteria or multicellular um, you know, humanoids, uh, human beings, uh, without attributing purpose, we, we don't, we can't understand what's going on. That's what distinguishes life from a collection of molecules, is the fact that life displays purposeful, intentional behavior. And I would argue that just as the purposeful, intentional behavior of human beings is evidence of, of sentience, the purposeful and intentional behavior of bacteria in a sucrose gradient is evidence that they are sentient. Um, I don't see the logical contradiction, I don't see the absurdity of this, uh, but, you know, provide me with a, a sound argument that, that uh, contradicts this idea. And, you know, maybe I'll be convinced, but I, I just don't see it at this point.